Look what's arrived. It's a big box. What's in here? I know, but do you? You may be familiar with my ram knife. I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use magic. You ready? It's another box. I think the magic's a floor today. Let's try this again. Um, it didn't come out of the box. Let me just get this thing out of the box, hold on. Of course you have any trouble. Right, let's turn upside down. Yeah, okay, I'm just kidding. Look, there's nothing in it. Mm, the magic seems to be broken. Let's try this again. There we go. It's out. It's another box. Power cable. USB cable. Probes. This gives it away, isn't it? Four sets of oscilloscope probes. Manual and that sort of stuff. Cool. Let's move this out of the way. And here it is. The magic's been reflected today, so I think I'm going to have to do it manually. In case it disappears again. Here we go. This is an STS 2104X Plus. Rather nice oscilloscope. Touch screen, all sorts of stuff. 10.1 inch screen, 4 channel. There's a small story behind this. I actually reviewed one of these things previously. I think it was early last year. Remove film before use. Yes, I certainly will, because otherwise the bubbles will drive me nuts. And you guys all want to see me peel this thing off nice and slowly in a nice, satisfying way. Now, the story behind this is that I won this from Sigland. So Sigland were doing a giveaway. They're doing a draw. They did it over a period of an entire year. It took a year to do the entire giveaway. They did a few rounds of different ones, giving away some signal generators and stuff like that. I had four rounds, which is a STS 1104XE, I think it was, or a choice of a signal generator, SDG signal generator. They had four rounds of those with winners, and it also had two bigger rounds of review people, right? So people that do reviews like I do, they had two rounds of that. The first round was won by a guy called Josh, I believe, if I remember rightly. The second round just finished, and I was quite stunned myself. I won the second round, so that is brilliant. So Siglant have sent this to me directly, it's great, it's come straight from China. I'm really, really happy I've got this. You wouldn't believe how happy I am about this. Because when I did the review last year on that unit, I was really impressed by it, I really liked the unit. When I did that I thought well, I'd really like to get one myself. Shortly after that, I think it might have been around the same sort of time actually, it was when Siglant announced they're doing their giveaway in their little competition. I thought right, I'll chuck my name in there and see if I can get any luck. What do you know? I was lucky. So I couldn't believe when the signal emailed me and said, hey, congratulations, you're a winner. It's like, wow, really? Excellent. I couldn't believe my luck. Because I don't win things normally. Normally, I just, that is my luck. I just don't have luck. I don't win stuff. <laughs> so, no matter what I do, I just don't win stuff. I just don't have luck that way. And then I got an email saying I'd won this. It's like, well, that's brilliant. Almost didn't believe it. I actually waited for him to do the official announcement before I really worried about it, you know. Proof is sitting on my desk right now. As you can see, I've got a few scopes already. This is a much nicer scope than well, any of them, really, probably. I've got an older Siglant here, which is an SDS 2000, the old 2000 series. That was my first digital scope I purchased after my old Tetronix 300 megahertz thing, T432A, which is my previous scope. Now, it's my first proper digital domain one. This is an MSO, which has got the Logic Probe and stuff on it. I've actually got this, the whole kit of this. This one's fully upgraded. You know, I spent a lot of money on that one. And then, about three years ago now, I was fortunate enough to win a Keysight Test Impress competition for the video entries. And also, I won that Keysight scope, which is great. Thank you much, Keysight. And then, last year, I picked up this scope, which is the SDS 1104XE, because I wanted a four-channel scope. So I purchased that, and now I've got this thing. So I actually need to reorganize my desk anyway, because in my other lab, I've only got a budget scope out there. I did a review on it, it's a must-haul scope. It's actually got a nice little scope for the money, really good but doesn't compare to these things. And I, what I'm gonna do, I'll, I'll dispose of that scope. I'll probably sell it locally. And then hopefully this will fit on my shelf here. It's um, similar size to my old one, to my 2000. Hopefully I don't have to readjust my shelving, but you know, minor sacrifice. And some people say, oh, I'm a bit spoiled for choice for scopes. Well, yes and no. All scopes have got their own little quirks and feature sets. Some things are done differently across different brands. 
and they're better for certain functions and certain uses. Anyone who's had a range of scopes will know that that's the case. All scopes aren't created equally. This key site, for example, the serial decoding works differently to it does on the signals. They're done in a slightly different way. Sometimes you want to see the data in a certain way, so the key site might just show you that particular way. In the ASCII decoding, for example, it might show you in a certain format, but the signal is showing a different format, and sometimes this one's better. Sometimes this one's better. So sometimes it depends on what you're doing. I've got this because I wanted four channels. This is because it's an MSO. And this because I won that one too. So that's a bit of a pride of place as well. I think I should keep the key site here again because like I said, serial decoding is a bit different things like that. There's a few little quirks on it, which are, well not really quirks, but there's, there's a few differences about how this works compared to these ones and the signal GUI interface. Gives you a bit more of a range of options. I think I'll take the old SDS2000, put that in the other lab and use it out there. Because these are basically the same physical dimensions, so I should just be able to swap it out with this one. The advantage of this one as well is that it's got this nice big screen, so when I'm trying to do video and recording video on it, it will be larger, so it'll be easier to see it, which is a great benefit. It's going to be a lot easier to see when I'm doing videos and stuff like that. So thank you very much Siglant for firstly doing the giveaway and doing the draw. It's really generous of them to actually go through and do that. There's lots of winners, not just me, there's lots of other people who won things, so it's really generous of them to do that and, and to give away equipment. Absolutely brilliant. And I, I think they've done it a couple of times in the past as well. And it would be nice to see them do that again in the future. Good on them for that. Well done, Siglant. And thank you very much for this nice scope. I'm looking forward to using it and adding it to my benches over here. And you'll see me using this in various repair videos in the future. I'm really happy about it. I'm going to have to get the uh, MSO option for this. You know, that's not a big deal. I really should pair it up. Right, here we go, it's on the shelf. Now I've got the power plugged in, I haven't powered it up yet, so I'm going to do that together for the first time, and we'll see what happens. I'll just take this bit over, I can't remember. I think it's about 40 seconds, I think. And then we'll do the peel, do the peel together. And there we go. It's booted. Now, let's do the peel, shall we? Don't get too excited now. Don't you get too excited. Don't you leaving a mess on your screen. There we go, it's officially mine now. Right, let's try and find these settings. To remember to use this thing. Utility, system settings, options. Oh, I've got some permanent ones on here. Permanent FG, which is the AWG option, called FG now. MSO is temporary. Permanent flex ray, permanent CAN FD, permanent I squared C, permanent 1553B, don't know what that is. Permanent PA, which is power analysis. Temporary sent, temporary march. And there's bandwidth options. You can do bandwidth upgrades in these things. I don't know how much it costs now, but you can go up to like the next level up and stuff like that. I'm quite sure. But you can do it through here. You can also do it through the Skippy interface as well, the web interface. So you can put it on your network and actually web interface into it using the signal software or through your browser. That's fine. So I've got a whole bunch of permanent ones in here already. It's nice. So I square this and stuff like that. It's already enabled. So MSO would be one I'll need to get, I think, because I do want to option this up and get the MSO option for it. So it'd be nice. Some status, software version 1.3.7 R5, new boot OS is 5. So let's do the probe conversation. This thing I've done channel 1 already, let's do channel 2. Make sure it's set to 10 times. Hook it up to the cow. Uh, I'll have a little digger in. I want AC coupling so it doesn't go off screen. You want a 10 times on the probe. Like that. Let's increase the vertical resolution. Triggers on the wrong channel, so it's not in the right place. So I need to do trigger setup on channel two. Here we go. That's the conversation. Pretty close.
you go. Set one done. And I'll just repeat for the other three channels. Well, the other two channels, we've done the first one.